in a number of spiritual paths. Your deeper questions might find answers in a session in the pastor's study. You're looking for something more, so let's offer you something different. Merry meet, blessed be. I'm Iden Odinson, and welcome to yet another session in a very different pastor's study. This past week I was given an inspiration. Snooping around YouTube, I came across some chants. Now, I do really enjoy Tibetan chants. They really bring out something. I've always been a fan of Gregorian chant and Anglican chant going back to when I was a child. But I discovered Templar chants which are quite different. Then again, so were the Templars. Don't confuse the Templars with the Crusaders. And certainly don't confuse the Templars with the Hospitallers, which have since become the Knights of Malta. No. The Templars were organized for the purpose of protecting pilgrims who are making pilgrimages to the Holy Land, to Jerusalem specifically. Each and every one of them had to be already an accomplished knight by the time he joined. So guess what? Each one of them basically gave up what a lot of people would have accused a knight of being after. The glory, the personality cult would be possibly developed among a big name knight. Even having his shield with his own coat of arms or that of his family. No. The only thing that I can think of more anonymous than a cloistered monk's robe is a Templar's full suit of armor. Each and every one of them, once their helmet was on, looking absolutely identical. Of course, the Templars accomplished many things and were very successful and their success was their downfall. Among other things, part of protecting the pilgrims to Jerusalem was to give them a safe place to put their money that they would need once they got there. And once they got there, they had a place where they could withdraw their money, put it to good use, and it would be safe. So there was no point in robbing pilgrims for their money if their money was in safekeeping. And that was the beginning of modern banking. And that was also the beginning of jealousy which led to the order being suppressed. Or was it? There's many speculations about that. The Da Vinci Code being only one. They did have a major fleet that suddenly disappeared. Now, where'd they go? We will know when it is time for us to know. We will know. In the meantime, they had a chant. One particular came from a psalm. Now, I don't care which spiritual path you're on. 
obviously, if you find some strength and comfort in the Christian path, you'll find this pretty good. But, I can think of a few of you, and a couple of you that I could know name by name, who would probably be saying, Oh, no, 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 that's Christian, that's Christian, no, 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 no. Well, excuse me, but there had better be somebody that you address this way that I'm going to be talking about. There had better be if you're on a real path. And here are the words. Non nobis domine, non nobis, sed nomine tuo da gloria. Non nobis domine, non nobis sed nomine tuo da gloria. Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name be the glory. Now think about that. Spend some time thinking about that and let that sink in. Not to us, Lord. Not to us, but to your name be the glory. The first thing that comes to mind is that if more people would pay attention to that, follow it, we would have a lot less problems. Now of course, there are the obvious problems. There's a Wiccan chaplain in Wisconsin who's in trouble right now. And all I can say right now is if that person had understood some basic principles and understood the necessity of, as they used to say, being as virtuous as Caesar's wife. In other words, Caesar's wife didn't have to be virtuous. She had to be virtuous beyond question. Beyond question. The same thing applies to some Roman Catholic priests who are currently in trouble and a particular Monsignor locally who as far as I'm concerned is really in trouble and many others including those that don't necessarily violate the law including those who don't think they're clergy. Nevertheless, we all have a ministry now, don't we? And what about what about the local gossip monger in the coven or the church? I remember one, and I hope she heard, hears my words. I used to refer to her as the chairman of the parish gossip committee. And that's when I didn't uh, call her the Pope because of her theological pronouncements that would even contradict the Pope. And of course, this requires some humility, doesn't it? I'm going to say that it's not for my glory that I do this. But I've come across a few people that will say outright, by golly, there's nobody any more humble than me, and by golly, you better not dis you better not dispute it. I'm the most humble person you've ever known, aren't you? Aren't I? Huh? Yeah. You've come across people like that. They try to make humility a matter of pride. 
a matter of pride. And they think they're doing something in God's name. They think they're doing something to God's glory when it's to their own glory. Can we say karma? So I give you this to meditate upon for the week coming. Next week we've got a celebration. Maybach. So this gives you a couple of weeks to think about this. Non nobis domine, non nobis sed domine tuo da gloria. I can imagine on a charger and you see the enemy ahead and you're chanting non nobis domine non nobis sed nomine tu da gloria as you're moving faster and you're repeating this and your lance goes down. Yeah. For the up close and personal type of fighting that they did. You'd be ready. But for us, non nobis domino, non nobis said. Nominate tuo da gloria. Not unto us, Lord. Not to us, but to your name be the glory. Whoever it is that we're calling Lord, El Shaddai, Odin, the Lord and Lady, the Goddess and God, Allah, Whoever. Let that sink in. I think it could solve a few problems. I might. Blessed be. Uriel's Gifts and the Secrets in Plain Sight are sponsored by the Temple of Gaia. At Temple of Gaia, we don't train you to our path we show you how to find and pursue your own path. Above all, we tried to provide a great place to come together and to share. We're located in Collingdale, Pennsylvania, just outside of Philadelphia, and wherever cyberspace can be reached. To learn more, visit our website at templeofgaiainc.org or our meeting place in cyberspace at templeofgaia.ning.com. Thank you for coming. Feel free to return at any time. We intend to always have something for you here. Blessed be. This has been a presentation of the Wise Ones Net. Merry part and blessed be.